Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Angel Fred, and I'd like to welcome you to the gates of paradise. That's right. Here we are in heaven, and this is Angel Fred saying, I like my new job, but I, people say, Ticket Fred, how did, Angel Fred, how did you get into heaven? And I say, I don't know. I was going down the expressway on my motorcycle, 450 cubic centimeters of unleashed cold steel mechanical fury with my girlfriend on the back. It seemed like our whole lives lay ahead of us. The wind was in our hair, and the sun was in our eyes, and the music of the cicadas was everywhere. And then I heard her complain that her shoe was coming off, and that's all I remember. bang -o. here I am in heaven without a cut, a bruise, or a scrape, and everything's just peachy, and, and there's God now. Hi, God! Wait till I tell him about this movie you guys are making. He'll, he'll uh, throw an omnipotent shit fit. God, those are some pretty good chops you got there. Say, so you know this song, The Continental? You can play that one. Well, knock it off, man. There's these guys at the gate, and they want to make a movie about your son. Which one? Jesus. Is it Jesus Christ? Do you remember the guy with the Bethlehem and the star and everything? Yeah, right. And uh, listen, they want you to be in the movie, too. So you're just going to be in a little part right at the beginning. And listen, you know how they're going to um, portray you in the movie? Nope, not as a cheap William Blake caricature. No siree, Bob. You're wrong again. Call that art? Nope, not a cheap phony imitation either. God, you are going to play yourself. The real thing in this movie. And here's the script. And now John the Baptist, portrayed by Adolphe Manjou, sweeps a wide path for the coming of the Lord. Come on, Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the court of uh, the palace of King Herod Antipasto. You're probably saying to yourself, Man, Angel Fred, those are some pretty cool threads you're wearing there. Where'd you get them? I say, I got them from the wardrobe department. Um, there's only one King Herod in the movie you're watching, and you'll say the biblical scholars among you are whispering to each other and nudging each other in the ribs saying, but there are two King Herods in the Bible. This is true, and we know it's true. But we, there's only one in the movie because of prohibitive costs of actors, actors' lunches, and actors' clothes. And all this, of course, is covered under the statute of limitations in the Actors' Union uh, Code Manual. So there's only one King Herod, and don't worry about it, all you biblical scholars and Billy Graham crackers. So without further ado, I will take you now to King Herod. But now the scene you've been waiting for. The celebration of peace and innocence. The nativity. <laughs> and so ends the first half of our little saga. We hope you have enjoyed yourselves. And now for the second half of our movie. We hope you will enjoy it. The second half of this movie will be shot with an anamorphic lens. <laughs> Mary Magdalene was born in Harlem in 1943. At the age of nine, she was violated during a bank robbery and began a trip down the rocky road to ruin. For some, the rocky road to ruin was a boulder encrusted road, but Mary Magdalene found it to be a smooth past, path as she fairly flew on, down into the lowest depths. And in time, Mary Magdalene became a fleshy des pot, or should I say, a dizzy flesh pot, until finally 
at the lowest of the lows, society found her committing the unpardonable sin with a member of the opposite sex, that sin, the seventh commandment, adultery. Here is Mary Magdalene then, being brought to justice by her properly outraged townspeople. Meanwhile, Joseph has become a cross capitalist. Hey, my main man, one of my launchmen. How you doing, brother? I see you got a hip natural there, my man. All right for this apartment. Hey, brother Do, how are you? All right. Ah. of the chicken. And now, ladies and gentlemen, the Last Supper. Mm. And now, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Stations of the Cross.